Hey everyone, this is Mike. Today I'm going to be doing another little checklist in preparation for patch 5.45, which will be coming out on Tuesday, which is only a few days away from now. Now, of course, this is kind of like very close to the patch coming out, but there's not a crazy amount of stuff that you can prepare for this patch, although there are a few things that you might want to do if you want to jump into the new content straight away. So let's start off with the relic weapons, because that's probably what most of the people will be doing when the patch goes live. So basically, the relic steps that are out right now, make sure you complete those so that you can go into the next relic step straight away when 5.45 comes out. Of course, with the new relic quest step also comes some new Boja content as well. Uh, this will be our Baldesian Arsenal 2.0 and I'm pretty sure that you'll need to have at least finished the Bojan Southern Front storyline in order to get in there. Of course, we don't know the actual requirements just yet until the patch notes come out. But I do think you'll have to at least finish the Boja storyline to go into the next piece of content for Boja. If you don't remember what you need to do for this, basically go inside the Bojan Southern Front, go all the way to rank 10, and then once you reach rank 10, you can do the Custom, uh, which is the dungeon at the end of Boja. And then once you finish up that one, you can finish your story as well. I don't expect you need to go to rank 15 inside of Boja. Uh, getting to rank 10 doesn't take a crazy amount of time. Going from 10 to 15 does take quite some time, so I don't think you'll need to get all the way to 15 as the main thing you get access to are more lost actions. However, if you are planning on taking on the 48-man Savage difficulty uh, of our Baldesian 2.0, uh, then I am expecting that rank 15 is kind of a necessity to get access to those stronger lost actions because those will be very important to increase your chances at clearing this savage version uh, of the new Baldesian arsenal. But of course, if you're only there for your relic, uh, you probably don't even need to set foot inside of Boja. If you only want to do the normal mode version of BA 2.0, uh, then getting to rank 10, I imagine, would be enough for that. Of course, with our new relic weapons also come new Skysteel tools, so your crafters and gatherers can also get the next step done for their relic tools. Uh, of course, finish the ones that we have right now, so that you can immediately start Start crafting and gathering for the next steps as well. And then last but not least, we have our Blue Mage getting his level cap increased all the way to level 70, which means that we get access to new skills, new fights, maybe a new title and a new mount as well, if they're going to do the same thing with the raiding achievements that they did for a Realm Reborn and Heavensward. But of course, we'll also need to prepare some gear for that if you want to do so already. Uh, if you don't want to go for the quote-unquote best in slot that is like a mix of tombstone and raid gear, you can just go to Ralgar's Reach to this NPC right here and buy augmented tombstone gear straight away. They changed it so that you don't necessarily have to buy normal tombstone gear anymore, plus an upgrade item and then go to another NPC to augment it. You can just buy the augmented pieces of gear straight away. So that's kind of like the patch 5.45 checklist. I guess you could call it if you want to jump into the new content straight away. Make sure that you rank 10 inside of Boja, have finished the relic weapon, have finished your relic sky steel tools when it comes down to crafters and gatherers. And then for Blue Mage, make sure you have some level 70 gear lying around uh, when the patch goes live so that once you reach level 70, you can just immediately be fully geared up. Uh, I believe it costs poetics, so it's something that you'll probably have lying around at this point. But that's going to do it for this video. I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank my patrons for supporting me. And I'll see you in the next one.